Public health officials warned that when a coronavirus vaccine is ready, the next hurdle is how to get that vaccine out to the public quickly and in massive numbers. Joining me now is Jay Walker. He's the CEO of Appyject, a company that entered into a $138 million deal with the Trump administration called Project Jumpstart. Welcome, Mr. Walker. Glad to be here, Lori. So what is Project Jumpstart? Well, Project Jumpstart is an emergency and temporary program in the battle against COVID-19. It's a public-private partnership between my company, Apigec Systems of America, and the Department of Health and Human Services and the Department of Defense. And its purpose is to ensure that by year end, we'll have at least 100 million doses ready to inject of a vaccine or therapeutic, assuming one is available. And now you are going to be making these pre-filled syringes for the vaccines. What's the problem with glass vial systems of manufacturing and delivering vaccines? Well, there's no problem with glass vials. They work wonderfully, except when you need hundreds of millions of them all at once. The supply chain for glass vials requires not only that you have all of those vials and all the materials that go with it, but it requires that you have extremely specialized filling equipment to fill all those vials. All of that equipment is currently busy. It works on cancer drugs and other life-saving drugs. There is no excess capacity to fill 100 million, 150 million or more with a new vaccine. Therefore, the U.S. government has stepped out and said, we'll need to use another way to make sure that that vaccine can be delivered to people who want it. So how exactly does Apiject work? Well, if you've ever used an eyedropper where you, you know, in your eye, take a little squeeze bottle, that technology is called blow, fill, seal. And that is exactly the same technology we're using. There are eyedropper facilities in the U.S., not many, but a few, that we are going to upgrade so they can handle vaccines. Then what will happen is those facilities will make the containers right here for, that will hold the vaccine. We will add a needle hub to them, and voila, you have a pre-filled syringe that's ready to use. So where will they be manufactured, and what is significant about that now and going forward? Well, we haven't announced yet which of the facilities in the U.S. will receive the upgrades. We're in discussions with all of the major U.S. manufacturers, but there are not many that do this on U.S. soil. What's going to happen is we'll choose one or two of those facilities in the next few weeks, and then we will begin to install all kinds of upgraded equipment that will all be approved by the FDA. Eventually, what we're going to do starting next year is build entire new factories capable of doing up to 330 million doses every month so that the entire U.S. population can be filled and finished from these brand new factories that we're building on U.S. soil. How does the optional RFID chip work? Well, each of these devices that are injecting have the capacity to also have a small chip. What that chip does is it has the unique serial number for each dose. It is designed so that there is no counterfeiting. It's designed so that we'll know exactly that the right dose hasn't expired. However, that chip only refers to the dose. There's no personal information, no patient information. It's simply like a barcode, only we know instantaneously where and when that dose has been used. That also helps public health officials know when there are outbreaks, have we vaccinated enough people in those areas? That technology is purely optional, however, and the U.S. government hasn't even decided if they're going to use it. How quickly can you manufacture the vaccines and what's your long-term goal? Well, we don't make vaccines, Lori. Drug companies make the vaccines. They then ship them to us for the packaging. So. Our long-term goal is to make sure that no matter what vaccine wins or what vaccines and what therapeutics are available, America can fill and finish in these pre-filled syringes as many of the drugs as we need for U.S. citizens and eventually to have excess to export worldwide. Our goal is to make sure that on American soil, 
We have everything we need to protect America. When do you think you might start vi start filling these with the vaccine? Well, the president has said that that vaccine will be ready this year. So if that vaccine shows up at our door, we're going to be ready to fill it as soon as it does. Well, it's a fascinating new technology. We'll definitely be keeping an eye on it. Jay Walker, CEO of AppEject. Thanks for being here. Good to see you, sir. Thank you for having me, Lori.